Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got yet another finale for you guys. This one is for the 2020 Vision Project. Um, this uh, was supposed to finish at the start of 2020 but I was on holiday so here is mine. Yeah, so this was organized by Hayley from Makeup Tips 102, Paula from A Beauty Girl Made Me Do It, and Elizabeth from Cookie Pans. Most of them, or all of them, on Instagram, and Paula is on YouTube as well. I feel like I've said this so many times now. This project lasted for pretty much a year and a half. Um, and we were working on 40 products, 20 of them makeup products, 20 of them beauty products. It was a lot of work and they still are not all finished even though I had a year and a half but I feel like I did quite okay so first of all let's go to the beauty items because as always that is the shortest one for me to talk about <laughs> these are still here of course um, the image skincare clear cell clarifying pads I did not take these with me to New Zealand so there isn't that much more progress but I'm just really excited about what I managed to do with these I'm only using a quarter every time I'm using them and this was still pretty much full and not used very much when I started using this and I would not have used this as much if this would have not been in a project so I'm very excited that I put it in here and that I managed to finish up so much of it I've still got probably about a year to go but I'm, I'm happy uh, apart from that I did finish off all my skincare items and it's not too big of a surprise to me to be honest it was hard for me to even find 20 uh, beauty skincare items because I just I, I'm not a hoarder when it comes to these types of products so I just pretty much took everything that I had and put that in a project and well because they were the only products that I had I used them up um, so it was just a combination of like um, face creams and cleansers and body lotions and all these different types of things but yeah they're gone <laughs> and I definitely did not keep all these packages just to be able to show them to you guys after a year and a half um, that would have been a little bit too cluttery with makeup I I'm not sure what my plan was because I thought I was keeping all of them but I've also thrown part of them away so yeah I've got some items that I can show you and some items that are <laughs> not here anymore so for makeup um, I think we might be able to go through all of them because the to me it's just a bit more interesting than beauty items anyway so anyway I'm gonna just start from the top of my list make my way through and talk through what I have used what I have not used and uh, what I did already finish so first of all my Lancome Quattro the black shade in here nicely um, <laughs> new looking I have used this um, throughout the year but if I've used it 10 times throughout the year and a half that we've been doing this project then that would probably be much um, as you know I've got two other blacks in my pro in my panda palette and this one didn't really make the cut yet but we'll get there at some point I know I know <laughs> I'm gonna get there at some point um, okay for the next we had the NYX LSS lipstick in B52 which was kind of a darkish red I don't have it here anymore but just to show you guys what the packaging would look like this is another NYX um, lipstick that I've been working on so yeah I finished off three NYX lipsticks this year actually and the B52 was one of them um, then next we've got Rimmel Apocalyptic the um, liquid lipstick lip lacquer as Rimmel calls them I've definitely used this and I love this color on me but I had a lot of other lip products that I was trying to focus on as well and the thing with the lip lacquers is they're harder to get through it is very hard for me to see where I even am so I'm just more motivated to work on others instead of this one um, yeah this one is gonna go next year I feel it <laughs> this one will be gone at some point um, okay next one was my NYX blush in taupe and this one I finished off I think is one of my first projects but I did keep it I don't know why I kept this one and not other ones but this one is completely done I love this um, I know it's a blush but like most people I've been using this as a contour because for me and my really light skin tone that just works really well I mean like I've been in New Zealand for three weeks can you see no yeah <laughs> that's what I thought um, anyway moving on we have this thing that I cannot really get out anymore um, this was the NYX pencil that I've been working on and it had a light and a dark green side Oh, I can get it out actually 
Um, this is all that's left, but of course I cannot sharpen it anymore. And uh, yeah, this one is done as well. Both sides counted as one item, so those two are done. Then, this is nice. Um, the uh, Catrice lipstick in lovely rose, yep. I was still working on this, but right now it is completely gone. As you can see, that is the plastic that you see right there with some lipstick in it still. But I finished it and I'm really excited about that. Another lipstick done. And let's see, then we had the Sleek Pout Polish in Sugar May, which I finished off like one or two months ago at this point, I think. Um, it took me a long time to get through that as well, but it's done. And then we had a concealer. This was the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay in Light Neutral. Light Neutral? Oh no, just kidding. Well, anyway, I also finished this one off in this project, but I also had the Collection Concealer in Fair, which I used up a year ago or so, so I uh, already forgot about that. I think I threw it away because that was from 2018, but then I kept the blush. I, I don't know. Um, anyway, I finished off two concealers in this project as well, and this one took me forever, um, but we did it. And then we have the NARS highlighter in Albatross. As you guys know, I didn't really get to this one because I've been working really hard on my other highlighter that I got really close to, but I just didn't manage to finish. So this one is not really used yet, but in a month's time, hopefully when I finish off that other highlighter, this one is gonna be my uh, main one. So I'm gonna finally make some progress on this one as well. And um, then we're moving on to the Elf Mineral World Blush in Joy. Most of this year, I did not really make any progress on this one because again, I was working on other blushes, but I've been working on this one as my main blush for the last month, maybe a little bit more than the month. And I made progress. I actually made proper progress even, not just a little bit, but I made a new line and it is significantly below the other ones. I'm really excited about that. And it tells me that I should be able to finish this one off in the next few months. It's definitely going to be a focus for me in the next year, in 2020, we're already in this year. Uh, it's not going to be a focus anymore in 2021 because I hope it's done by then. But yep, uh, it took a long while to get to this, but now we're moving. And then we had a mascara. Where is it? Okay, like this is not the actual packaging anymore. This is another one, but I keep repurchasing this one. So I finished off a Clinique High Impact Mascara. This one was fairly easy because I uh, use one up every three months, or at least I roll a new one in every three months just for safety's sake. It's a liquid that I'm using really close to my eyes. So yep, that one was not that difficult. Um, I lost a lip gloss as well this year, which was the Kite Fat lip gloss in Rode, which is a, a drugstore brand and Rode, Rode, I cannot even talk Dutch anymore. Rode means red in English, so it was a red lip gloss that was pretty sheer, so easy to wear, but fell out of my pocket while I was cycling to work, so not with us anymore, sadly enough. Then we have another lip gloss that I barely touched this year as well. This is the Gosh On Stage lip gloss. And I made like from here to here. That's the progress that I made this year. Year and a half even. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be like one of my lip glosses again to focus on in the next year. It's so big though, so it's it's just scary to even think about finishing this one up. But we will at some point we will. Um next one. It, I'm in a way I'm kind of excited about this one as well even though it's definitely not finished yet this is the I love coconut and cream lip balm and what I can show you now is that I started using it well you cannot see it here but in a close-up you can see I am using this one now um, this is gonna take me forever as well but with lip balms I'm kind of okay with it because I'm gonna be using lip balms anyway this is uh, at my bedside table and I use this before I go to sleep and sometimes I just grab it when I just quickly want to put something on so it's moving. Hopefully this one will be done uh, by the time 2021 comes around. It's gonna take some time though. But we're making progress now, so that is good. Um, then we had the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow in M536, which I have used in my brows and as a certain point, I think I've also used it as a bronzer. So 
that one is gone and I do not have it here for some reason. I already threw it away. But yeah, that one is done. I had the Gosh Velvet Touch Foundation Primer, which I'm fairly certain is one of the first products that went as well. Uh, I don't really use foundation primers. At this point, I'm not even using foundation at all. Just concealer on the places where I really need anything. Um, so yeah, that uh, that's done uh, finally because I had that for a while as well. Then lastly, we've got the two more eyeshadowy products. One of them is the pigment from Da Vinci. Um, this one is in Deja Vu and I think I barely used this one. I used it in my inner corner a few times, but that doesn't really do much uh, progress wise. So yeah, this one didn't really make it because I already had too much other product that I was trying to focus on in other projects. So that one just didn't really make it. Same goes for this Catrice eyeshadow. It's a fairly big and therefore kind of scary to start on uh, eyeshadow again. And it's a brown and I already have so much shades that I can use in my crease or in my outer V, still in my panda palette and other places. So I just didn't really get to this one either. But yeah, if you kind of watched and counted with me, I um, finished off 12 products or finished off 11 and I lost one. But I don't think that's too bad. Um, let's not talk about the fact that I had a year and a half to do it and I should have definitely been able to get rid of all of them. I'm still pretty happy that I only have 8 of those 20 products left. Um, pretty much all 8 really have a lot of work to do still. No, all of them. There, There is none of them that are close to being done in, in any way, but anyway. Uh, I thought it was exciting to do this project. Um, it's kind of exciting to be able to work through certain products really quickly with my beauty items. It kind of got me in that momentum to just keep working on things. Um, the makeup items didn't go as quickly, but there I feel like at least like something was happening most of the time There just were a few products that didn't really move, but That's life. We've uh, got other things to focus on as well uh, But yeah, that is it for this one. Thank you guys very much for watching Thank you guys very much for following along for the whole year and a half if you did and even if you only like joined in right now Thank you very much as well. I know a lot of new people are uh, joining my channel over the last month or so it's been uh, really good and I actually forgot to even acknowledge this but I'm over a thousand subscribers right now which is really exciting um, it's been a long way coming but I'm really excited to actually get there thank you guys very very much for that um, for showing up and for commenting and all the things that you guys are doing it's uh, it's really nice so yeah that is it for today though thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos Bye-bye.